Hello and welcome back. Well, today's the day. It's time to unmask all the parts of the steam engine and get them assembled together. Now, this engine has been run once. Uh, it was run as a test before I did any painting, but there's no reason to suspect that it won't run today. Um, the timing of these engines is actually very simple. They're very forgiving. I've seen some people uh, attempt to paint their engines as much assembled as possible because they're afraid that they'll not be able to get the timing back, which is uh, kind of a woeful lack of understanding of how the engine works, honestly. So uh, I didn't do that. I just took mine apart, painted everything up, and now we're going to put it back together. So uh, stick around and see how that goes. Following that, if it runs successfully, there'll be some footage of that. So a couple of uh, quick things before we get to that. First of all, quick reminder that should the channel ever get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving this away. Uh, it's a very nice micrometer. So something for you to think about. And uh, I'd like to give a couple of shout outs. First of all, I'd like to mention um, Topper Machine, who's a new channel that I discovered. Actually, he's not new. He's been around for a couple of years, but only came up in my YouTube feed recently. And I've been thoroughly enjoying uh, his work. He's a manual machinist job shop in Wisconsin. Uh, does some really incredible work. So I recommend you check him out if you haven't seen him before. And then I'd like to mention Jim's workshop. Jim uh, visited me recently and he kindly gave me this fixture, which is used to secure the jaws on a three jaw chuck um, for when you regrind them. And I'm going to make use of that very soon. And then I'd also like to mention Thumper Thoughts, who not long ago completed uh, a PM research engine build. Very nice it is too. And I'll provide a link to that. And uh, also he's very much into motorcycle restoration. Uh, definitely worth a look. But he sent me a GoPro insert for the uh, GoPro case, uh, which is a really nice device for uh, organizing your GoPro stuff. And I'll do a, a short review of this separately. Um, if you want one of these, and honestly, if you have a GoPro, you do, then you can uh, buy one of those from him at Red Hunter store on Etsy. Anyway, there we are. That's today's announcements. So hope you enjoy the video. Um, all the assembly is done at 10x speed, just to show you a glimpse of it. Um, Let's take a look.
Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Uh, that was a really fun engine to make. Uh, presented some challenges. Uh, this is definitely of a scale beyond what I've normally machined. What's particularly pleasing about this engine was that I machined it with a goal of having everything fit together and run correctly from the get-go without any bedding in. And I achieved that. I paid very careful attention to tolerances, uh, especially geometric tolerances to make sure things were properly concentric uh, and well considered in the machine setups. And overall, that's been very successful. Uh, the engine went together and turned over freely by hand um, from the very outset. No running in required, unlike other engines that I've made where I'd have to run them on very high pressure air uh, and use friction to just wear them in before they would run. So this is a huge success, big step forward, and I'm looking forward to the next engine build, which will be a model engineer beam engine. So do hope that a few of you will subscribe and stick around for that. If you've got any comments, please put them below. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and well. Get out to your own shop make something fun, whatever it is, um, and just stay well. Thanks very much and all the best. And don't forget, micrometer. <laughs>